Hi, welcome to the lecture number 21 of Ultimate Python course. Here we are going to see while loop. So don't write the notes. Notes is given in the description. And watch my videos at 2x speed. I am really slow while explaining. So while loops in Python. So why are while loops required is in order to repeat a block of code. Now you may ask me there is for loop to repeat a block of code. Why do we need while? Both are different. For loop is generally used to access to to iterate over a sequence. Sequence means it can be list, tuple, string, etc. If you have a sequence, if you have to iterate over the sequence, for loop is used. But while loop is used until a condition is false, and while loop is used and while loop will continue running until a condition is true, and while loop terminates only if the condition is false. And while loops are useful when the number of iterations is not predetermined, which means if you don't know how many times you want you have to run while loop, then while loop will be helpful. I mean, if there is a loop of code and you don't know in advance how many times you have to run, then this while loop will be very helpful. For loop also, you can do that using range, but then for loop is mainly meant for iterating over collections like list tuple dictionary string all this okay and while loop is generally used to iterate over by based on a condition whether it is true or false now how do you write while loop the syntax of it so you are going to write while <coughs> followed by a condition followed by a colon you have to write while condition colon then you have to put statements with indentation there should be some indentation okay that is how you write the syntax of the while loop this is the block these three statements statement number one statement number two statement number three is the block that get executed so you have to give four spaces indentation four spaces okay now the condition that you write here will either be true or false if it is false while loop will end if it is true loop will continue and now indentation is very important for defining the block of code inside the loop now take this example for i equal to 0 i less than 5 print i i equal to i plus 1 so what happens in this example is i is going to start from 0 and it is not going to touch 5 it is going to touch only 4 so we are printing all those values and every time we are incrementing the i value this is very important many people forget this line they don't put i equal to i plus one if they don't put i equal to i plus one i will always be zero and it will always be less than five and it will become an infinite loop okay so in this example if you see zero to four are printed now Yeah, that is what I was saying, right? You may fall in the infinite loop accidentally when the condition is always true. For example, in the previous example only, i equal to i plus 1 is removed. Then what happens? It will fall in infinite loop. 0 is being written many times. Streaming output truncated to the last 500, 5000 lines, which means it has printed it many times and it has stopped. It is infinite loop, right? In, in fact, even if you write like this, while true, while true means it will never be false, which means this while loop will, will loop on this block forever. So therefore, you are going to see this is infinite many times. Now to avoid infinite, you have to see that the loop variable changes. Okay the loop variable on which you are looping that should change in such a way that at some point it has to become false the condition in the while loop has, has to become false otherwise you will fall in infinite loop now coming to break break statement allows you to exit the loop of code before the condition becomes false okay so break statement allows you to exit a loop before the condition becomes false 
what does that mean even before you exit while naturally based on the condition if you want to exit it in between you can use break statement you already seen break in for also right same thing for example i is starting from 0 and i is less than 10 which means i will go from 0 to 9 okay whenever i reaches 5 we are writing break okay and then we are printing the value of i and incrementing the value so what happens in this case is 0 to 4 it will work properly and print the values but whenever the value has become 5 it will stop 0 to 4 it will work properly but whenever value becomes 5 it will break now you can also use an else with the while loop just like how you have used else with the for loop right so what will else when will get else else will get executed is whenever while loop exits naturally whenever while loop exits naturally else is going to be executed right so what does that mean look at this example i equal to 0 i less than by print f print i i plus 1 so this is simply a normal while loop there is no break in it so it is going to exit naturally whenever it exits naturally see first 0 to 5 4 values are printed because of this print statement and it is going to exit not naturally and whenever it exits naturally the else part is going to be printed so the else part so while loop executed without any break that is in else part right so else part get executed and then you can say came out of while both file both for and while have else statements see else is there with if else is there with for else is there with while so you can have both of them and else is executed only if the loop runs to completion naturally without encountering any break if there is a break statement which gets executed then else will not get executed okay look at this so i is less than 5 print i i if i equal to 3 break then what is happening here whenever i reaches 3 we are breaking so 0 will be printed 1 will be printed 2 will be printed 3 will be printed but when this when it is 3 we are breaking therefore else will else will not be executed in this case else will not be executed came out of the loop is going to be executed now in this case if you observe it in this case if you observe it while i is less than 5 print i which means values of i are printed if i equal to 6 we are putting break so 6 will never be reached because when we have reached 5 the condition becomes false therefore 6 will never reach and so break will never be touched right we are never going to execute break in this case else will get executed why because there is even though there is break it is never touched it is never executed right so that is why we are actually going to else part and printing the else part while loop executed so in this line this line will be printed right and anyway this is came out of the loop it has no relation with while and else it is a separate code now you can also have nested nested while loops just like nested for loops you can also have nested while loops okay so how does this nested while loop works is while i is less see initial i is equal to zero see initialization has to happen before you start the while loop initial i equal to zero and i less than four j equal to zero and j less than three we are printing i and then j okay we are printing i and j using a f string okay so what happens initially i will be zero and this loop will work work for 0 1 2 0 1 2 right initially then i will be 1 then this loop will work for 0 1 2 <laughs> right so if you see the output for row 0 column 0 1 2 for row 1 
column 0, 1, 2, for row 2, column 0, 1, 2, for row 3, column 0, 1, 2, right? Which means for every value. So initially I will be 0, when I equal to 0, j will be turning for 0, 1, 2, 3 times. Then I will become 1, then j will again run for 0, 1, 2. I will become 2, then j will become, run for 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, okay. That is how nested while loops works, okay. So that is all about while loops. We will learn about, uh, more about while loops when we write actually programs, okay. Thank you. If you want to take my gate classes, we go to the website ravindrababuravala.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there. Okay, so coming to the classes, they are all recorded. Why am I doing recorded? Why am I not doing live classes is I have thousands of students registering for my courses every year. But then if I conduct a live class, only 20 or 30 people will be there. 20 or 30, that's it. Maximum is 40 I had. The reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time. See, you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed. You have to watch at the pace at which I teach. Generally, I will be very, very slow while teaching. So if you can go through the live classes, you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast. 400 plus hours content is there for gate. And if you are going to watch them at normal pace, it will take 400 hours. But if you watch it at 2x speed, it will take just 200 hours. Right. So if you want any of my gate classes, gate computer science or gate DA, the price is just 10,000 rupees. It is very, very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide. We have test series, we have doubt sessions, we have videos, we have lecture notes for everything. Even you don't have to write any lecture notes. I will provide you lecture notes for every subject. You just have to sit back, watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes. Short notes will be provided, long notes will be provided, formulas will be written in a separate notes. Everything will be there provided to you. You don't have to work hard. And coming to, if you are planning to go abroad, we also have study abroad program. You can go through my number. My number is on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is in the website. If you are planning to do masters abroad, that is a very good choice. It is better than doing masters in India. So if you are planning to go abroad, we will help you out right from the, from taking the passport to getting the visa, visa, US visa, right? So we will help you out in the entire process. Okay. So do visit the website, see what is happening there. Even DSA course is there for 5,000 rupees, which is both in Python and C++. Okay. So thank you so much.